Okay, here's my 2000 S10. I'm going to go over the, some of the steps with you guys that I got the TCC valve out of here. Um, here it is. I just installed. Um, hold on. The fits all TCC valve for the P1870 code. We'll see if this works. Um, I spent the majority of my day yesterday with a screwdriver. Oh, video is going crazy. I got to find the screwdriver real quick. Um, here it is. All right. So, I'm kind of cramped, but here we go. All right, so, I was right here. Um, so, you got the solenoid over here. I took that out. This was unclamped. I left this, these wires connected. If you look over here, you see you got, I think this is like part of the shifter uh, mechanism. And then... We have this whole valve body, but something that needs to be explained is, so when I'm right here, I'm on the solenoid, right here is the clip that you have to get out. Um, you can see it there. It leads to right here, and there's a spring in here, but for, I spent probably about four or five hours trying to get this clip out, trying to get this clip out. Um, I couldn't get it out. It's like one of these ones. I bent the ends straight like this. Well, I mean, these are bent to the side, but I bent them straight. And I have every tool known to man trying to push this out, push this out. I can't do it. I can't figure it out. I'm taking it to someone. This is too hard. But once you take a look, if you take a look at these, see right here, this. This is what you want to see. This was in. It was pushed in about to about right there so there was a gap there was a small gap but it was noticeable these are all flush this wasn't flush so i realized hold up i remember they tell you about and they do in the other video where you have to push this well you have to for the love of god or whatever take your screwdriver and pry this as hard as you can this is the main component you can fiddle with the clip all you want if there's no pressure on the clip it's not going to do anything i bent this clip so much that this one right here it was so bent from working on it so many hours that i took the screwdriver put it in here there's a spring you have to keep getting up and then once you can get to the other portion just keep pushing pushing as hard as you can and then this will start to come out, this retainer little circle. And I just kept pushing, pushing, pushing. Eventually, I just pushed this. I pushed it out of here. The clip was useless. The clip wasn't even doing anything anymore. It was just dangling because it was so bent that I just, I just forced it straight out of here. So if you can't get this clip out or if you bend the clip, you have to take this and pry. And pry until you start seeing this come out right here. And then this slowly came out like that. A little more, a little more. Eventually, you can move up from this spot to there's a spot under here where you'll see the other part. There's another hole. Um, you'll see it when you move this thing a little bit. And then you can pry it out. So here's a little old retainer that came out. Um, it's right here. That See that? Just kept pushing, pushing, pushing. Popped out. Let's look at some of what I have here. Uh, so the spring came out. This is my old mechanism. Um, it came out like this. And I was able to slide it out of there. So I, I put the new one back in. Now the new pack. Let's get this little paper thing. See, this is what I have. And I have the 2000. Even though this transmission is, I don't know where it's from. It's not from the truck. Someone, someone put it in there from the junkyard. I only know that because they told me. Um, these are the directions on the back. And you see there's two different designs. It's really hard to see. But one of them has a nipple. One of them is flat. So if you take a look at this. This is flat. Now, 
you don't put the spring back in you just force this back in with your thumb and mine went in and it the end is sticking out it's sticking out about as much as a retainer and I, so i got a hammer i'm trying to hit it in there i can't figure it out uh so um i just figured well that must be that little end that you have to cut off on this package i don't know why i have to cut it off because mine's not old uh but that's the only way i can get it to fit i hope this doesn't come back to haunt me but we'll see uh i cut off that little this little portion on the end it says to cut off which is it's right here see there's this little gap it says you have to cut it off if you have the old one but i got the new one in there and in the process i kind of nicked one of the wires coming off of here this black wire over there i kind of took a little chunk out of it so i hope that doesn't come back to haunt me but overall if i could do it i think you can too um that's the story and that's i was having trouble i spent a whole day prying trying to get that little clip out getting frustrated i hope this saves some people time